Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, in every time people communicate, like, like I'm talking and you're listening, but what's interesting is what I'm saying and what you're hearing is not always the same thing. There's a gap because I'm using words, you might interpret those words differently. And one of the things that I have found in life is that one of the great areas of conflict is when, when somebody is speaking and somebody is listening, people have a tendency to fill in that gap with a set of meanings that the person who's saying it doesn't mean, or, or, or you watch someone doing something and in their heart they mean one thing, but you are receiving their action and there's this gap there and you fill in with like, oh, look at all the horrible things that they're doing. And one of the things that I wanna encourage all of us to do is to give each other the benefit of the doubt. Now, Jesus knew what was in people's hearts. So he knew that there was garbage in there, but I think oftentimes we have a tendency to base our, our understanding of what people are doing on their worst possible mo motives, and we base our understanding of, of what we're doing on our best possible motives. And the Bible, that's called uneven scales, and the Bible actually says that that's an abomination of the Lord. So we want to treat others with the way we want to be treated, and Jesus said whatever measure you use will be measured back to you. So if you want people to, to give you the benefit of the doubt, uh, trusting in your best possible motives, then we actually need to do that for other people. And I think that this can really revolutionize the way we have relationships because if you see that gap, you say, hey, listen, I just want to check in because when that happened, I could see it this way or this way. I'm going to trust that you were being uh, benevolent, not malevolent. You're being good, not bad. But can we talk about that? And really what it does is instead of just painting someone into a corner or, or assuming the worst about them, you're assuming the best about them. And one of the things I love so much about what God does is God knows that we're problems, but he sees our potential as well. And he, and he encourages us to live into our potential and we can embody that same kind of living if we were to simply trust the Lord and give people the benefit of the doubt. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to share this video. How different would the world be if people gave each other the benefit of the doubt and sought clarification on the motives that are being on display? Man, it would change everything. And in the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who you're like, man, you are always so encouraging. You're always giving me the benefit of the doubt, even when I don't deserve it. And thank you so much for, for valuing our relationship and, and seeing that I'm not perfect, but I'm being, I'm being changed right now. And by encouraging me to keep on keeping on. And God bless you all today.